Hey everyone, my name is Andrew, I am indie game developer and creator of the game Druid Test of Faith, and today I would like to tell you about Sprite Shape and Unity. So the Sprite Shape is a special Unity component which allows you to create and manipulate different sprite shapes inside Unity Editor. With its help, in a blink of an eye you can easily create background elements, race and traces, foreground elements and everything you would like to. It's really flexible. So to start using it, we must install it first. For that purpose, let's open up Package Manager and in the right top corner in search box let's type in sprite shape. Next let's hit install and that's all we need to do to start using our sprite shaping project. As you can see I've already installed it, but you will see here install button. So next we need to do is to create our new sprite shape profile. For what purpose let's right click in project tab, select create, 2D and sprite shape profile. In Inspector tab now you can see lots of different settings for our sprite shape, but the most important settings for us here is sprites. So the sprites list could contain one of few different sprites which we will use for that sprite shape. I will show you. As first sprite I select on grass and as a second I select cliff. And now to add it to the game we need to drag in sprite shape profile to the scene. Next, since it's my real game project I need to change certain layer to let it scene. And now with a special edit button we can transform our sprite shape. So that sprite shape calls open and contains only one curve to manipulate with. By clicking on curve we can create control point. And now we can change the sprite we are currently using to different sprite from sprite shape profile we just added to the cliff. By adding another curve point now we can control the cliff size. And we have now cliff and two pieces of grass sides. It's really convenient but now we can control all our sprite shape with simple unity controllers. Let's move it a little bit down. As you can see right now the cliff and grass perfectly fits the game foreground. And in couple simple clicks we can change the position of the grass and create some hills here. So as you can see the sprite shape is easy to create and manipulate, but I must mention couple tricks here. And the first one trick here is about sprite itself. It is about sprite mesh type. So let's select the foreground grass sprite and try to change its mesh type from tight to full rect. So as you can see right now the grass turned into tiny pieces and do not try to be stretched as it should be. So in this mode the sprite shape is repeating sprites but not stretching them. The next one trick is about control points on the sprite shape. The control points could be of three different types. Sharp, smooth and broken. Now let's try to replace our sprite variant to the default one and create a nice looking hill. As you can see it's also extremely easy to perform. And the next one really important aspect I would like to discover to you is control points height. So for example we would like to create a moss on the top of Hunter's house. So first let's set to scene Hunter's cabin. For that purpose let's create an empty object and add a sprite renderer component. Afterward find and add a special sprite of cabin. Next we need to do to change certain layer to make it visible on scene and justify to nice position. Afterward we can select and justify our sprite shape. And as I've mentioned before with a special height slider we can change the height of our grass. Last thing we left to do is make our sprite shape to fit the roof of the cabin. And that's basically it. Now we have nice looking grass above the cabin's roof and we wasted for it just a few clicks, so the sprite shapes are really great. And last but not least thing I must mention here, it's about closed sprite shapes. So to create a closed sprite shape we need to select our sprite shape profile and next manipulate with that round slider, customizing its range. Now let's set it from 45 to negative 45. Afterward by pointing our mouse to that slider we can add a new range. Actually we are not limited in the amount of that ranges, but now let's create only 4 of them. For each of that ranges we can select its own sprite lists. Now let's attach the grass sprite we have to all rest ranges. And now let's drag into scene the red sprite shape we just added. Change a certain layer to let it be seen. And we will see quite a strange construction. And that's again happening because of sprite mesh type. We need to change it mesh type to full rect to make it looks much better. Afterward I believe we need to change our fill texture. And then let's change all our outer corners to none. 
And now when everything is done and everything is looking quite fine, we can manipulate it as we wish to. Using the sprite shape edit mode, we can transform it even into a circle. And that closed sprite shape mode will help you to create nice casual games. There is only one thing left to mention here. All sprites you add to your sprite shape profile should be facing upward, because the sprite shape will rotate it to necessary direction by its own. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.